So today we proceed to percentage part 1. Let's look at the introduction of percentage. So percentage is a number or a ratio expressed as a fraction of 100 which denoted using percent sign. So this is the percent sign. There are many formulas for percentage problems but we will use this formula as a basic formula for percentage x over y equal to p times 100 there are three basic percentage problems if x and y are numbers and p is the percentage first problem is find p percent of x second problem find what percent of x is y and last basic percentage problem is find x if p percent of it is y Okay, first we focus on problem 1, find P percent of X. Let's try example 1, find 20% of 50. So this one, direct example as problem 1. Why direct? Look at here, the word find. So same as here, then 20% means based on P percent. So P equal to 20 and then of 50 so of 50 same as here of 50 so to solve basic problem of percentage you need to know or you need to remember these three guidelines first find or what so this one what you need to find means substitute the formula with the unknown. Okay, then. Second one is the word of. Means you need to multiply. And last one, is. So is represents or means equal to. So back to example one. Using this basic formula, 20 over 100 times 50 equal to y. So, y based on the word find means the unknown. 20% here based on 20% convert to fraction form. Or you also can use decimal form which is 0 0.2. Then, of 50 means times 50. So, calculate y directly. y equal to 10. So, as, as I stated earlier, you can convert from percentage form to decimal form. So, from 20%, 0 0.2 times 50 equal to y. At the end, same answer. y equal to 10, y equal to 10. Let's try another example. What is 45% of 200? So, what here is the unknown so unknown and then is mean is is equal to next 45 percent here so 45 percent you can convert to decimal or fraction form then of 200 so of 200 here you need to do multiplication therefore Using decimal form, 0 0.45 times 200 equal to y. Calculate y. y equal to 90. So this one, two examples to represent first basic problem of percentage which is find p percent of x. We proceed to second problem of percentage. Find what percent of x is y. Don't forget these three guidelines what percent of 80 is 20 so how to solve this example of means multiplication is means equal to then what percent means that one is we need to calculate the percentage value so look at here P over 100 because of this two word what percent 
So, calculate by the percentage value. Times 80 equal to 20. So, P equal to 25. How to calculate P equal to 25? Here. 20 times 100 divide by 80. So, P equal to 25. You can check either your answer is correct or not by substitute P equal to 25 here. So, like this. Is it 20? Yes. Therefore, P equal to 25 is a correct answer for example 3. Okay, now, example 4. 25 is what percent of 50? So, 25 is means equal to of 50 means times 50. So, this is the solution for example 4. P over 100 times 50 equal to 25. Calculate P at the end, you got P equal to 50. So, same as example 3, we can check either P equal to 50 is a correct answer or not. Substitute P equal to 50 here. Therefore, calculate at the end, same answer. So, P equal to 50 for example 4. Third problem of percentage, find x if p percent of it is y. These three guidelines, you must remember. Find what unknown of means multiply and is means equal to. Okay, proceed to example 5. 84 is 40 percent of what number? So, what number means the unknown. Therefore, 40 percent of what number means 40 over 100 times x. So, x is the unknown, like this. So, here you can use 0 0.4, fraction form or decimal form. So, 40 over 100 times x equal to 84. x equal to 210. Check the answer. Is it 210 is a correct answer? Calculate 84, 84. Therefore, x equal to 210 is a correct answer. Okay, now let's try another example. 1 and 0 is 20% of what? So this one of what means the unknown of you need to multiply. And then 180 is represent equal to 180. Okay. Therefore, 20 over 100 times x equal to 180. Calculate x. So at the end, final answer x equal to 900. So how to calculate 900? From here, 180 times 100. Divide by 20 based on this value. Check. Is it x equal to 900? Substitute. So at the end, same answer. Therefore, x equal to 900 is a correct answer. Okay guys, let's look at another example. Example 7. 900 meter is 45% of what kilometer? So here is different unit meter and this one kilometer. Okay, next step, what you need to do is you can change the unit. But I want to show you in different way. You can solve using basic formula of percentage first. Okay, so 45% convert to fraction form which is equal to 45 over 100 or you can convert to decimal form 0 0.45 of what kilometer means times x equal to 900 so this one 900 in meter 
calculate x at the end x equal to 2000 meter 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 okay is that final answer no you need to change the unit because the question asks you of what kilometer therefore we call back 1000 meter equal to 1 kilometer so 2000 divide by 1000 therefore 2 kilometer is the final answer for example 7 okay next let's try example 8 15 centimeter is what percent of 500 millimeter so here different unit centimeter and then millimeter now we can change first okay change the unit we call 1 centimeter equal to 10 millimeter so from 500 millimeter divide by 10 so 500 divided by 10 50 centimeter so this one is already in centimeter therefore calculate what percent so p over 100 times 50 equal to 15 therefore the percentage value equal to 30 percent so here you have to know what is the units and the relationship between the units you have to know to change the units let's say from meter to kilometer centimeter to millimeter and also from gram to kilogram liter to milliliter and so many units that you have to know how to change if the questions given in different units okay now let's try to do quick charts five questions then check your answers okay guys that's all for today next we will focus on percentage part two assalamualaikum and the